Welcome back. That was a recent viral video that's got a lot of people buzzing about bubbly water. Now, after I saw that and a recent study from Consumer Reports, now even my colleagues here at the show are asking, is my seltzer addiction bad for me? So I'm diving in for all of you. Let's break down this study. Researchers at Consumer Reports reviewed more than 40 brands of bottled water and found that several popular sparkling waters had higher levels of chemicals than still water. The ones that made their watch list include Perrier, LaCroix, Canada Dry, Poland Spring, Buble, Polar, and Topo Chico. They all had levels over one part per trillion recommended by scientists and environmental groups. Now, while there are no current federal regulations, some states have made their own. PFAS, or polyfluoroalkyl substances, are a group of man-made chemicals that don't break down easily. These forever chemicals, as they're often called, can take years to be excreted by our bodies and hundreds of thousands of years to break down in the environment. So, can your seltzer addiction be bad for you? There's evidence that the chemicals have been linked to health problems, such as high cholesterol, cancer, thyroid issues, liver disease, colitis, reduced ability of the immune system to fight infections, and low birth weight. In press releases responding to the Consumer Report study, the following companies had this to say. The quality of polar products and our water is our highest priority. Independent tests of our water source have consistently concluded non-detectable for PFAS. LaCroix tells us every LaCroix product is subject to strict quality control to meet the highest quality standards. LaCroix points out that each sample tested surpassed the most stringent PFAS requirements in the U.S. by 500% or more. Nestle Waters, that owns Perrier and Poland Spring brand, says its latest testing indicated undetectable levels of PFAS. Coca-Cola, who owns Topo Chico, says it's tested below all drinking water standards for PFAS and other criteria set by current U.S. federal and state regulatory agencies. Further noting, we continue to make improvements to prepare for more stringent standards in the future. And of course, we always say here at the show, everything, of course, in moderation. You can check out our website, thedoctorstv.com, for the company's full responses. When we reached out to the other brands, they did not immediately respond. So the bottom line, will drinking seltzer, just one, actually make you sick? Not necessarily. But it's important to think cumulatively and recognize there are many potential sources of exposure.